Hi guys, it's Carrie. Hey, a couple of you guys have been asking me to do a close-up, and I'm ready to do that now. Um, this one, though, is going to be based on um, extraction or traditional orthodontics causing uh, sleep apnea. Now, the reason why you would get sleep apnea from orthodontic work is because it's a retractive force. All railroad track braces are retractive. So what that means is they're going to be taking out teeth, and moving everything backwards because if you look at the positioning of my jaw now it's pretty far back behind my ear see where it belongs is up here but in order to bite like that I have to you saw move my lower teeth way up in front of my upper teeth which most of us definitely don't bite like that normally so um this is going to be on sleep apnea now. Um, what sleep apnea do is, is it's a closing of your airway to some extent, and I totally have that. Now, because my jaw was pulled back so far, I showed you the start is behind my ear, not where it belongs. Um, that, that reduces my airway. Now, the major cause of sleep apnea, though, is that you have no room to put your tongue. Um, I had some really, really rude comments on some of my other videos, but that's one of the reasons why I'm doing this. Other reason is because a lot of people have asked for close-ups. Um, yeah, my teeth are straight. Don't comment saying you have straight teeth. What's your problem, girl? I don't need any more like that because <laughs> anybody can get braces and get straight teeth. It's not that. It's These are the side effects that you're not told about or you sign off on real quick while they just go through with you and they don't give you other options. You can see um, all that kind of stuff, though, in my other videos. This is clearly about sleep apnea, okay? Now, my tongue is entirely too big for my mouth, okay? Now, my tongue is not too big for a normal person's mouth, but because um, there are four teeth removed, two upper, two lower, my tongue no longer has the room it needs to breathe because everything has been crashed in. It's like if this was your normal arch here, and then you go and remove 20%, it's going to crash like so. Um, like if you take the inner and outer core of a high school track, if you were on the outer core, now you're on the inner core, but your tongue was comfortable on the outer core, well, your tongue is just out of luck now. Um, Okay, I'm going to show you the crash in of my upper my upper arch here. Um, it's pretty bad. I don't know how good this is going to come out. Okay, you can kind of see that I don't have a very big arch up here, okay? I'm going to show you how small it actually is by using this quarter. Now, you guys are all going to say I'm gross and whatnot on this. I washed it with soap and water, and then I soaked it in Listerine for an hour. It's a brand new American Samoa quarter, and I imagine it hasn't been circulated for too long. Okay, so if I place the quarter, you can see that the quarter is almost the size of my entire arch, so that gives you some kind of idea. Now, normal sized tongue, quarter sized arch. Okay, so when you take out teeth, they got to keep making it smaller and smaller and smaller until those gaps are closed. You typically rest your tongue on that upper arch I was showing you, the one that mine is a quarter size. So let me see if I can do this better. Okay, but anyway, there's it's like a quarter and then maybe this just this much space. Oh, it's on the other side of my finger which is not like much more. If it's a half dollar, it definitely wouldn't even fit inside. Okay, so that's how small it is, okay? So now my tongue is so big and it just has nowhere to go. Um, so what happens at night is it starts to go back against my tonsils and closes my airway. So I'm going to show you a normal pose for, for a tongue. Okay, that's how I would be if this if these teeth were up the entire six millimeters they used to be my tongue would fit perfectly fine but since it got pushed back my tongue now just takes up entirely too much space for what I have left okay so now in order to get my mouth to close now because this is where my tongue wants to be to close my mouth okay I gotta do some contortions here Okay, did you see how my airway had to totally close in order to pull that back? So you may say, how do you sleep? Because you're, you know, you have no airway. Well, I can only sleep on my side. If I sleep on my back, I'll wake up with a dry mouth struggling to breathe um, numerous times a night. 
Um, when you're short on oxygen too, you wake up and feel really, really dizzy. Like sometimes I'll wake up and just fall over because I had no oxygen all night the night before. And that causes cancer, um, heart attack, stroke. It puts me at higher risk for it. Now, all this, by the way, was never mentioned by the orthodontist, 100% caused by the treatment. Um, I want anybody who's considering having four teeth to know this because when they crash your arch, you have, you're have you going to reduce your tongue space to not much more than a quarter. So clean a quarter up, put it on on your arch, and see how much more space you have. And then if you go through extraction, <laughs> that's about all you're going to get left. Um, it's just really, really sad. Sorry I had to do this. I had to use a, something everybody could relate to. Um, also, another thing um, facially that's really a problem with this is everything crashes in. That's why you're going to have this hanging skin. You can see that in another one of my videos, though. Um, this is this is because my tongue is just too big for the space that's left. I've read something that you're not supposed to be able to touch every tooth with your tongue. Well, I can touch every tooth with my tongue open or closed. So it's just not a good setup for me or anybody for that matter. But anyway, please, if you're thinking about having four teeth pulled for orthodontic work, please reconsider it. Um, you don't want to stop breathing in the middle of the night. It's a, it's a serious medical condition that I never thought I'd ever have to deal with. Okay, have a great day, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Aloha.